Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use memory bits, we will implement latching and also we will use some functional blocks like timers. So, let's look at the example first. Example 29. When push button is pressed and released, then motor 1 will be on after 10 seconds and after 10 seconds motor 1 goes off. So in this case we will use memory bits then we will implement latching for push button and then we will use uh, some timers like T on and TP. So let's move to eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive. And then click on Apply. Then I will go to Configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features in associated configuration. So I will click on yes. So here is the device description. It has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 1 serial line port, 2 analog inputs, 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I will go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMH2JDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly I will insert normally open contact and then a coil. So firstly, I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as push button. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as M 0. And then I will insert one more normally open contact in parallel with the push button and then I will click on this option and draw a line to connect it like this. So I will implement latching here so I will assign address to this contact same as M0. So when I turn on push button I0.0 M0 will be true and then when I turn off I0.0 M0 will still remain true. Then I will add a new rung and here I will insert one normally open contact and then a coil. So I will assign address to this contact as M0 and then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as motor 1. Yes. So as of now, when push button is on, M0 will be true. And when M0 will be true, motor 1 will be on. And when push button is off, M0 will still remain true and when M0 is true, motor 1 will still remain on. So, motor 1 should be on after 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, motor 1 goes off. So, to implement this logic, we will use 
T on as well as T P. So for T on, motor one will be on after 10 seconds, and using T P, motor one goes off after 10 seconds. So I will insert functional block timer here. And then type as T on, time base as second, and press it as 10. Yes. So this timer will help that when push button is on, motor one will be on after 10 seconds. And then I will insert one more timer here. And select it as T P. I will also change time base to one second and preset value as 10. Yes. So when push button is on, M0 will be on, and when push button is off, M0 will still remain true. And when M0 is true, the current will flow through it as we have used T on here, so it will delay. So there will be delay of 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, motor one will be on. And then we have used a, another timer TP. And the preset value is 10 seconds. So motor one will be on for 10 seconds. So it will be on after 10 seconds. And then after 10 seconds, it will turn off. So I will exit full screen mode and I will compile the program. Then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So I will go to programming tab and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on push button, that is I 0.0, .0 and then turn off, then after 10 seconds, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So motor one gets on and it will remain on for 10 seconds. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So after 10 seconds, it will turn off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.